Welcome back to the Stump Moving Storage YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sean and I'm here to prepare you for your next move. And today we're going to be talking about lampshades. And I'll show you how to professionally pack them and protect them for your next move. Before I get into it, if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, if you learned something from the video, please hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will help you prepare for your next move. For this job, we're going to need five things. We're going to need tape and a tape dispenser a marker, packing paper, and a medium-sized box. And specifically for this one, we're going to be using a 3-1, and that is moving industry standard for medium-sized box, basically because we have a smaller or medium-sized lampshade. If you guys need any of the material to get this job done, anything from tape to tape dispenser or any of the packing material, go ahead and take a look in the description below. We have everything listed right there for you. To get this job done, we are going to first assemble the box, and I'm going to come around to the front to show you how that's done. Alright, taking the box, we are going to open it up, fold two sides down, and then these sides. We'll take our tape, always start in the middle, leaving a two to three inch overhang, pull tight as we go. Smooth that tape out, give you guys a better view of what we're doing here. I'll start on the other side. Then now we're going to overlap on the box and the tape, leaving that two to three inch overhang where you're beginning. Pull towards you, press down, and slide. There you go, guys. Again, always do three pieces of tape on the bottom. Doesn't matter what you're packing, we want three pieces of tape because that will ensure the bottom of the box stays securely shut. Now we can flip it over and we'll begin to pack. Now that we have the box assembled, we're gonna start the packing process. And we're gonna do this by adding packing paper to the bottom. We'll crumble up some packing paper, lay it in the bottom and cover the entire bottom before we place the lampshade into the box. Come on in for a closer look. Now we are crumbling this, but we are going to leave it light and airy because we want a cushion for the lampshade. If you smash it up to a hard ball, you're not going to have any cushion. You guys can see as I play with it there, it moves a little bit. That's the cushion that will protect your lampshade. Alright guys, that is the last piece of paper, the last piece of cushion, that we will be adding to this box. Now I know there's somebody out there who's thinking to themselves, this seems a little wasteful. Well, it's not. Packing paper is the best way to protect lampshades when moving, and it's the professional way to pack. Your peanuts and things like that, they don't come close to the level of protection that packing paper provides. And on top of that, we recycle the packing paper at the end of the job. Now let's get into showing you how this lampshade is finally packed. We're going to take the lampshade and we'll place it into the center of the box. Come on in for a closer look. Now you guys can see that there is space all around and in the middle. We'll take packing paper and fill that space. Don't jam the paper in there because it can dent or damage the outside of your shade here and we don't want anything to happen. So gently and lightly place packing paper in there. It will keep this shade from moving around as you're moving and will also keep the form of the box.
now that we're getting close to the end, you guys can see that all around the shade has been protected. It's not gonna move anywhere. Now it's time to finish up. We're gonna have maybe an inch or so of space between the top of the shade and the top of the box. That's perfect because we're gonna put a little bit more uh, cushion between the shade and the top of the box. That way, if something heavy ends up on top of it, it's not gonna to totally crush your shade. Again, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we don't go crazy here. We don't pack it in there. We wanna make sure that when we crumble this paper, it's light and airy. We will take up more space that way and also give the lampshade the cushion it needs to protect it. I think that's all we need here, so it's time to close the box up. Just fold your sides over. Fold it over the wrong side here, so we're going to just take these sides, fold them in. You guys can see there's a little play here, that's exactly how we want it. We want a little spring in the box. Now we'll have our name, contents, and your what would be your lot number, or if you're having inventory, if you're moving across the country, or you elect to do that. Fortunately, they're placed on the top, which doesn't make much sense to movers. We want everything on the side so that when we're stacked in the truck, we can see exactly where it's at. So just as a heads up, if you're going to label your boxes, always on the side, never on the top. So again, always label your boxes on the side so that when your movers are carrying them, their helpers could say, read the box and like say, hey, this is gonna go over to your living room or your office, or when it's stacked in the truck, you can see very easily where all your boxes belong. And once they're in the house and they're where they need to go, they might be stacked up, maybe you have a lot of stuff, you're not gonna think you're missing anything because you can easily read on all the boxes that are stacked throughout your house, what's in them and where they belong. You'll also be able to tell if something's out of place and needs to be moved to another room. So again, guys, we have Take that one piece straight down the middle, keeping both of these lips together. There we go. Both of the tabs of the box. Doesn't matter which way you start, left or right. Make sure you have a two inch to three inch overhang. Make sure that the tape is on correctly. Okay. And we're not done just yet. No, we're going to set this up there. We're going to finish by labeling it, and then I'll go into how you should stack this in a truck. Now taking our pen, we're going to work either way here. I'm going to start here on this side, and we're going to write C dot P. Now that is specifically for movers. That stands for carrier packed. Now that is how you differentiate between a box that you packed as a mover or a box that your customer packed, which we call PBO, packed by owner. CP stands for carrier packed. We're the carrier, there you go. And on this side, this side, you'll write the shipper who is the homeowner. That's a logistics term for anybody who didn't understand that. A shipper is, uh, the homeowner in this case, in the moving and storage industry. So we're going to write, you know, name and where it came from or what it is. And we'll abbreviate that living room, LR, shade. And there you go. And there you go, guys. A perfectly packed and protected lampshade ready to move all the way across the country. Now, if you guys were wondering, there is a specific way to load this. Basically, load it on top. Don't put anything heavy on this because it will crush. 
we want to make sure that it's closer to the top. So we have a video on how to load a moving truck. I'll link it right here for you guys. Or if you missed that, go ahead and take a look in the description below. I'll have everything listed right there for you. And we go over what base is, what medium stuff is, and what up stuff is. And I would consider a lampshade up stuff. That would be going towards the top of your load. So the base being the bottom, like this table we have here, that's a strong piece of base. Medium or middle stuff would be typically like a medium sized box, nightstands, your tables and chairs, anything like that that's a little lighter but still bulky. And then on top of that, we'll put things like lampshades, yard tools, anything that is light but also awkward. You know, for a situation like this, we're going to want to make sure that we have a square load. We're not going to be loading it on uh, stuff we would consider stick, which would be your uh, baseball bats, your yard tools, anything like that. We're going to make sure that this is in with just lighter boxes, maybe a very fragile end table, things like that. But if you have any questions, go ahead and take a look at that video that we have all about how to load a moving truck. Again, that's linked right down there in the description below. And there you have it, a perfectly packed and protected lampshade. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave us a comment right down there in the comment section below. I love to hear from you and you know I'll get back to you. And let me know if you have a question or an idea on a video topic that we haven't covered here yet. I'd love to make a video for you. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about who we are and what we do, you can visit our website at www.stumpfmovingandstorage.com. There we have our history and our specialties within the moving and storage industry. I know I have some industry professionals and some individuals out there who are just interested in the moving and storage industry. Well, if you're interested in expanding your horizons, if you're looking for a career change, we'd love to have you. And we are actively hiring and looking to expand. So if you're located within the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area, Go ahead and take a look at our website over in our career tab. We have everything listed right there under our career tab that we're hiring for. And we'd love to hear from you. Send us an email with your resume and we'll get back to you ASAP. And with all that being said, if you found enjoyment in this video, if you liked it, if you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insight into the moving and storage industry and for some videos that will help you prepare for your next move. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.